homeowners, hope you're having another inspiring day. Once again, this is MF Home TV with Phoebe. But before we begin today's video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that bell for you to stay updated. Now, for today's video, we will be talking about cleanliness. The trick to having a clean and tidy home is to do short and simple tasks daily. You have to develop a habit of tidying so that it will train your brain for you to eventually think of it not as a chore, but actually as part of your daily and eventually your routine. Like, for example, brushing your teeth. So, for today's video, we will be showing you 10 daily habits for a clean and tidy home that you should learn to manage your home and, of course, your stress. Number one is done immediately in the morning, fixing your bed when you wake up. Start your day with productivity, guys. Move those fingers, limbs, and body so that it will fight off sleepiness. And eventually, you'll have to thank yourself for coming home with a peaceful, restful, and clean bed after a long day of work. Number two is to do things until it's 100% done. A good example of this is when you're doing your fresh laundry. Don't just stop at the folding and leave it for another day. Immediately organize it inside your closets. The thing is, you don't know what unexpected task will come up tomorrow. So the more tasks that gets piled up, the less likely you get to do them. Number three is the two-minute rule. This actually connected with getting things done 100%. The two-minute rule is actually about getting started. If a task takes less than two minutes to complete, then get it done now. An example is when you see litter on the table. Take it immediately to the trash can. Don't do a mental note and remind yourself to do it later. Chances are you're going to forget it. Number four is to arrange things as you go. It is actually multitasking, but with very minimal actions that it won't distract you. What I mean with this is wherever you go in the room, train your hand to find at least one item that is incorrectly placed and adjust it. It could be a picture frame that is in the wrong direction or correct it while you're passing your entryway. A toy in the middle of the room while you're walking. You just swiftly pick it up and drop it where it needs to go. They are tiny actions but make a significant change once you go through the day. Number five is to have a place for everything and if necessary, label them. To keep a house tidy, you really need storage space. A specific drawer just for linens, curtains, and blankets. An exclusive cabinet for cleaning items. A basket for your kids' toys. A shelf for condiments. When you categorize your storage, it is easy to remember where to put them and even easier to return. Number six is to keep products where you use them. When you're brushing your hair, keep the brush inside the room. Don't go walking out while doing it because you will misplace your comb. Another way of approaching this tip is to keep your bathroom cleaning tools and liquids inside the bathroom. You have to separate them from your kitchen cleaning items and store it on its own. This way, you can do a quick cleanup if your bathroom is suddenly smelly or there's an annoying grime you need to brush that can't be washed off with water alone. By storing products, especially cleaning tools, where you literally use them, it won't be so hard to maintain a clean and tidy room. Number seven is to keep surfaces clear. Clutter attracts clutter. Psychologically, when you see a street full of garbages, you tend to throw your garbage also in that particular area. But when you see an area very spotless clean, you tend to be ashamed on throwing your garbage there and you look for another place. Side tip, please throw it in the proper garbage can, alright? 
This applies to your home. If the surface of your table is full of unnecessary stuff that doesn't belong there or it's disorganized, you're likely to not care anymore and just continue piling stuff on top of one another. Number 8 is a cleaning trick and that is to wipe things in a zigzag motion. We are so used to wiping areas in a circular motion that it creates an endless inefficient loop of cleanliness and dirtiness. To visualize it, you wipe the dirt to the right, bring it down in a half circle, and then bring it up again, and then repeat it to the right. You wipe off the dirt, but then you wipe it on again on the clean surface. Just like how we clean from top to bottom, you wipe from the left to the right, and then bring it down below the first left, and then right again, and so forth, without lifting your hand in a zigzag. Number 9 is to do a 10-minute clean in the morning and a 10-minute clean at night. Be disciplined enough that you sweep the whole floor of your house in the morning to get the dust off and mop your floors at night with a disinfectant before going to the bedroom. As you do this every day, 10 minutes will be nothing, but everything in your house will be clean. There will be less allergies and sickness because you got rid of the germs and bacteria inside the house that you brought in from the outside world with you. This is actually very important and much applicable during the time of pandemic. We have to regularly clean our house as much as we clean our hands. Number 10 is actually something that you cannot do every day, but yearly. But I've decided to include them in today's video because how can you develop a habit of cleaning every day if you have so many unnecessary things because they will always be there. So number 10 is to declutter yearly. But we discourage you from throwing things away because we have to protect our environment. What we advise is to donate or sell them. Donate the clothes you haven't worn in a year and your children's outgrown toys to a charity or an organization that aligns with your advocacies. Sell your extra gadgets or appliances online. So there you have it for today's video. We hope you apply these simple habits in your everyday life because once you start doing things, it's easier for you to continue doing them. But also, it takes a lot of discipline, motivation, and inspiration for you to continue these habits. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that bell for you to stay updated. Once again, this is Phoebe, inspiring your home. Comment of the Week Congratulations to last week's winner! This week's prize! Number three is the two-minute rule. <laughs> Number eight is a cleaning trick, and that is to wipe things in a zigzag pattern. We are so used to wiping things in a circular. I got a wow. A circular.